this is our example on slide 33 of our chapter 20 part 2 PowerPoint. Um, before we get into the question, I want to go over some key information about how to determine whether an oxidation or reduction will occur within a mixture um, in an electrolysis cell. Um, so our question asks to predict the half reaction occurring at the anode, aka oxidation, and the half reaction occurring at the cathode, aka reduction, for electrolysis of their two different reactions. So the first um, part is looking at molten salts. So whenever a molten salt is undergoing electrolysis, one thing to note is the anion is the thing that's always oxidized, and our cation is the thing that's always reduced. And then, um, if we have a mixture of cations and anions that are either up for oxidation or reduction, the cation with the more positive standard electrode potential is going to be reduced, and the anion with the more negative electrode potential is oxidized. So keep that in mind when we're working these um, two examples in this problem. So the first one we're going to be looking at is a mixture of molten um, aluminum bromide and magnesium bromide. So in order to start um, solving this reaction, we need to figure out what has the potential to go oxidation, undergo oxidation, and what things in solution or this molten mixture have the potential to undergo reduction. So as we just stated on this previous slide, in a molten salt uh, mixture, our anion is oxidized, cation is reduced. So in this example, the only anion that we have, the only nonmetal that we have present, is bromine. Therefore, that's the only, only thing that can undergo oxidation. So for our oxidation at the anode, only one potential ion, and that's Br minus. It's present in both the aluminum bromide and the magnesium bromide. So the half reaction for that is 2Br minus forms Br2 plus 2 electrons. And the standard electrode potential for that is 1.09. It's not really relevant here because we're not having to compare it for anything. This is the oxidation that's going to occur. There's only one that can because there's only one type of anion in solution. For our reduction, which occurs at the cathode, we have two potential ions that could undergo reduction, either aluminum 3 plus or magnesium 2 plus. And we see that aluminum and magnesium. So here's where we're going to have to write down both half reactions and compare the standard electrode potentials to see which one is going to occur. And if we go back to our first slide, we're looking at reduction. The cation with the more positive electrode potential is going to be reduced. So here we're looking for which one of these half reactions has the more positive electrode potential. So we're going to write aluminum first, Al3+, plus, and you're getting these standard electrode potential reactions and numbers from your standard electrode potential table. Just a reminder. So, aqueous aluminum 3 plus plus 3 electrons gives you aluminum solid. Our standard electrode potential for this guy is negative 1.66 volts. And for magnesium, Mg2 plus plus two electrons gives you magnesium solid. And if we look at our table, our standard electrode potential for that is negative 
0.37 volts. So, remembering our rule, cation with more positive electrode potential is reduced. That means it's going to be this guy. So, this is the reaction that occurs at the cathode. That's what's happening. That's the reduction that's occurring. And this written up here is the oxidation that's occurring. So Al3 plus will be reduced. It has a more positive standard electrode potential than Mg2 plus. So that's your answer for the first part. For the second part, we're looking at an aqueous solution of lithium iodide. So there's a couple different factors at play. The fact that this is an aqueous solution means not only do we have these lithium ions and these iodide ions floating around in solution, but whenever we have an aqueous solution, um, water can both be oxidized and reduced. So we have two potential um, half reactions that could undergo oxidation and two potential half reactions that could undergo reduction. So what we're going to have to do is write down both of these and figure out um, for the reduction, which has the more positive value. That's the one that's going to occur. Let's go back to that first one. And for the oxidation, the anion with the more negative standard electrode potential is going to be oxidized. So, two possible situations for reduction and oxidation. It could either be the ion in solution or water being oxidized. Or reduction, it could be the ion, lithium, or water. So, one tricky thing about this problem is this is kind of um, a double-edged sword problem um, is to take into account the pH of the solution so lithium iodide this is a neutral salt so that means the aqueous solution of lithium iodide is going to have a pH equal to 7. Um, so the values that are written on the standard electrode potential table um, are not necessarily at a pH of 7. Um, so if you will go to your slide, hold on, let me find it, slide 28. Um, it basically shows um, the reduction of water and the oxidation of water. So under standard conditions, reduction of water occurs at negative 0.83 volts, but when our pH is 7, it occurs at negative 0.41 volts. So since our um, pH is 7 in this problem, it's going to occur at negative 0.41 volts. And then for the oxidation of water, under standard condition, it occurs at 1.23 volts, but at a pH of 7, it occurs at 0.82 volts. So just keep that in mind, um, and when I write these half reactions, that's where those values are coming from. So look at slide 28 in your PowerPoint, and those values are written there. <laughs> Alright, so our potential oxidations which are occurring at the anode are we can either have remember our anion is the thing that's oxidized so we're going to be looking at iodine so it's either going to be 2i minus reacts to produce i2 plus two electrons <laughs> and this is just the half reaction for iodine being reduced or oxidized so I'm looking at my standard electrode potential table for this so my value is 0 0.54 volts 
And then the other thing that it occurs, that could occur for the oxidation, since we're in an aqueous solution, is the oxidation of water. So if you look at your table, you can find the half reaction for the oxidation of water. But remember, it's going to be the value at pH of 7. So it's going to be 2H2O, which is a liquid, can form... O2 gas plus four electrons plus four H plus. And our standard electrode potential for that is 0 0.82 volts at pH 7. So remember, let me go back, for an oxidation it's the anion or the species that has the more negative electrode potential that's oxidized. So in this case, 0.54 is more negative than 0.82, and the iodine is the oxidation that's going to occur at the anode. Now, for the second part, reduction, which occurs at the cathode, our option is having lithium component of our Li salt be reduced. Um, and we're going to write, let's see, lithium plus plus an electron gives me lithium. And that's aqueous and that's a solid. Standard electrode potential for that, if we look at our table, is negative 3.04 volts. It's way down towards the bottom of the table. Actually, it's the last value on the table. And then for water, you can even look at the you can either look at the table or um, the equation and value on slide 28 is 2H2O plus two electrons forms H2 plus OH minus, not OH, 2OH minus. And our standard electrode potential for that is negative 0 0.41 volts at, sorry, that's a horrible at sign, at pH 7. So it's not the value that's written on the table, but we're occurring in a neutral solution, so our pH has to be 7, so that's the value. So remember for reduction, the cation or species with the more positive electrode potential is reduced. So for comparing these two, the water reduction is more positive, therefore that's the one that's going to occur. So this one, oxidation, occurs at anode, and this guy, reduction, occurs at cathode. The other ones are not going to happen because they are not more positive or more negative. Um, and that's how you do the example on slide 33.